Hey, what's up guys, it's Day TV. During the next couple of months, we'll be doing our interviews via social media, either Facebook, Instagram, or Zoom. We also encourage families to continue being safe, washing your hands, eating properly, staying at home, and doing the things that help to defeat this virus until we can come back to a normal way of life. So thank you for engaging, thanks for following, and let's continue to bring more and more information to the community through Day TV. Thank you. This is Herbie's new home. This is the first book of the um, Little Herbie series. Welcome guys, welcome to Day TV. And we're here with uh, Sharika Myers um, to talk about stuttering in our community and, um, and things that uh, she's accomplished um, through the impediment. We're gonna talk about those things, how she overcome, overcame impediment and things that she's doing in the community right now. So Sharika, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So, um, so you know, take the mic for a, sec for a second and uh, Share your story with us. Tell us how you, um, from your perspective of triggers of stuttering, and give us a little, little feedback on that. Well, when you say triggers, I can't really, I can't really um, say that anything triggers it. I mean, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm, I'm unsure because I was born like that. I mean, ever since I saw talking, I, I stuttered. Good. So um, I'm not sure as far as what triggered. I'm not sure if it's, if it's just down the bloodline somewhere because I don't know of any of my family members that really stutter uh -huh. but um so so when when i first started speaking i i stuttered from the jump um but growing up stuttering was hard it was very hard because you have to deal with um people not understanding what what you have to say you have right. to deal with people making fun of it um you have to deal with being ignored you have to um deal with well some some people de deal with being bullied and right. um picked on so it's it's very hard it was hard growing up with the with the stutter but but i was able to actually get, get through it yeah and i you know coming up too you know a lot of people that studied and, and you know um i'm an adult now but uh, yeah i was the one guilty of probably laughing or or teasing people you know like just get it out already right okay now yeah. <laughs> so how did <laughs> So how did you um, overcome some of the issues growing up? Well, um, actually, I didn't overcome it until actually I, I was in my adulthood. Mm -hmm. But one of the ways that I was able to get it under control was was through reading. And um, being having older siblings, they was able to um, speak for me, per se. So if we was in a conversation and a bunch of people was around, mm -hmm. when, when they know that, that it was um, hard for me to speak. They they would actually finish my sentences, which wasn't always a good thing, but it um, but it helped. Kind of helped you it out. Actually helped a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you know, I know some kids are probably listening to this. Our parents are have kids, or even adults themselves. Um, what are some of the resources that help help kids? You know, with stuttering. What are some of the some of the some of the services are 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 things out there that can help with that? Well, um, when I was growing up, some of the services that they have now was, was not even available. One, one of the top services that, that, that they have now are um, speech pathologists working in the schools with, with kids. I, I believe that that's a great format that, that they actually implemented in the schools because some parents um, don't, don't have the funds to actually hire a speech pathologist. And unfortunately, back in the days, I was, I was one of those kids who parents that did not have the funds to actually hire a speech pathologist. So having a speech pathologist in the school is is great. It's very, very helpful. Um, being being able to slow down and say their words, actually take, taking their time, pausing if if need be, to actually um, speak be, before they actually start start talking. Um, reading, reading is, is what helped me. And instead of reading quietly to, to yourself, we um, I started to read out loud slowly gotcha. and then over the years I, I was able to um be able to speak at, at a normal pace though but reading is what really helped me reading helps it a lot because it kind of gives you that confidence i guess the repetitive of 
saying those syllable, um, syllables and, 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 and words kind of goes together, kind of gives you confidence to kind of spread it out that way. Yeah, um, correct, because when we don't, when, when we're stuttering, instead of us reading out loud, um, people like me, I used to hate to hear myself talk. I could not stand hearing myself speak for some reason. But um, reading re reading out loud to actually hear it, it, it actually started working for me, so. I am dedicating this book to my grandson, Lil Herbert Frazier IV. He inspired me to fulfill my dreams, even though I stuttered. Also, I would like to thank everyone um, who supported us on this journey. And remember, just because you stutter, doesn't mean your voice doesn't matter because everyone wants Dating me from the life.